Okay, 2.3. It says Dean's mother, Ella, started her own instant photography business by taking photographs on the beach. She has a camera but needs to buy a printer, photo paper, and ink cartridges for printing. Okay. So, I mean, this, these visuals are terrible. You'll have better ones in your actual paper. My printer wasn't great. So it's saying this is the, the photo printer. It's going to cost this much, right? And then the Canon uh, photo paper plus three print cartridges. It seems to all come together, okay? Then it shows this income and expense table where we have number of photographs, income and expenses. So this is going to be a break-even income and expense profit question. Okay, so it's very finance based, but it's actually quite intuitive. We just need to understand what exactly it is that they're asking us. Again, if you don't understand the scenario, go to the questions. It will help steer your thought. Okay, so it says use table three above to answer the questions that follow. Determine the selling price of one photograph. Okay, so we see that 25 photographs cost 500, 50 cost 100, uh, cost, cost 1,000. 80 costs 1,600. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, well, if we just say for 2.3.1, we can just say 500 divided by 25, and that will give us the amount for each photograph, right? Because it asked us for one. So put that in. So it's actually 20 Rand per photograph. Again, remember your currency. It actually represents a monetary amount. So it'll be 20 Rand. You could literally say 1,000 divided by 50. You could say any of these incomes divided by the number of photographs and you'll get to 20. Okay, you don't have to do everything the way that I do it. I just show you a way of doing it. Let's now go to 2.3.2. It says write down the formula that could be used to calculate the total income received. Okay, so the total income received, right, we can actually use our previous answer, would be 20 Rand, right, would be 20 Rand times by the number of photographs, right? Because if you think about it, right, that is, so income, I'm just going to say income. We'd say a total income, sorry, it's a little bit squished. Total income equals 20 Rand times the number of photos that are actually taken or sold. Okay, perfect. So that's the formula there. Then it says the total expenses can be calculated using the following formula. It has this 1125, right? Which we know is actually just the cost of the printer, right? So that's like a fixed cost, right? She's going to incur that whether she sells one photo or a thousand photos because she has to buy this printer, okay? So she has this printer. Then she also has an additional cost of five rand, times by the number of photographs. So that's what we call a variable cost, right? Because it varies by the number of photographs taken, right? Or printed. So this is what we call fixed. This here is what we call variable, okay? Then it says write down the variable cost of taking one photograph, right? If it's just the variable cost, we're only looking at this. If the number of photographs is one, it would be one, times five, right? What is one times five? It's just five rand, right? So the variable cost of one photograph is five rand, okay? Then it says, calculate the missing value A. Now, the best thing to do is to find A, okay? So A is over here. So we know that the number of photographs at this point is 80. So we're gonna use our formula we're going to say, okay, A equals 1125 plus 80 times by 5. Oh, that's a very interesting 5 marks. Okay, put that in your calculator. Remember, the biggest thing here is type it in correctly. So the total amount that this will cost, right, is 1,525 Rand. So that is what A is. A is the expense when... There are 80 photographs. Okay, so we've done A. Let's now move on to 2.3.4. It says, Annex to B shows two graphs. Okay, again, you have to remember that you have these annexures. Please don't forget about them. Shows two graphs, X and Y, which can be used to represent the business. Use Annex to B to answer the following questions. Give a suitable heading for the graph. Okay, let's first see the graph. So here's the graph. 
okay? So you should be able to recognize, right, that this is a pretty standard income and expense, right, graph. We can see that this is the break-even point. You should be able to see that this is the expense and this is the income because remember our expenses, we start with a fixed cost, so it doesn't start at zero. So this we know is going to be our expenses. This is going to be our income, right? And then over here, we need to give it a title. So I'm going to call it income and expenses of Ella's photography business, okay? So you can call it whatever you want as long as you call it income and expenses, put it in there. So I'm going to say income and expenses. Please write out income and expenses, right? Don't just, don't just uh, write it like I've done it. I'm just doing it shorthand. Income and expenses of Ella's photo business. Okay, so we've given it a nice title. Let's go on to B. Turn my page over. Let's go to B. Okay. So this is 2.3.4 B. It says, take which graph, X or Y, represents the income received by the business? Well, we know, right, that we only start getting income once we start selling photographs. So it makes sense that it starts at zero. Because if we don't sell any photographs, we don't get any income. Right, so this one is going to be income, so it's going to be X. Right, this one is expenses because even if we don't sell any photographs, we still have to pay off our expense of the printer. Okay, important to note that dynamic. Then let's go to the last question for this question overall question. It says, Determine how many photographs must be sold to break even. So you can just read that off the graph, okay? So at this point, it's between 50, bang in the middle, between 50 and, seven, and uh, 100, which is 75. You can read it off, you can also calculate it. I'm gonna show you both ways. So I'm gonna say 75 because I, and this is read off graph, okay? But then we can say, okay, what is our income at 75? We know that it would be 75 times 20. And what would be our expense at 75 with our little formula that we had from before? Would be 1125 plus 75 times 5. Let's just see if those two numbers equal each other. They should in order for it to be our break-even point, right? So that's that one, 1125 plus 75 times 5. And you can see... That there's two different ways of doing it. You can read it off or you can calculate. Okay, but the answer is 75 photographs. Okay, so that's this question done. We're basically halfway through the paper. Let's go on to question three.